What were you most pleased with out of today's performance? Oh, well, the way we stood up under pressure um, in that last quarter, we, we knew they would come. And um, yeah, they, when, when they hit the front, we just, we didn't seem flustered. Uh, yeah, the players spoke about the conversations that were happening after the, after the game, um, uh, around that time. And I just thought we stayed on task. We were able to um, execute our roles and um, yeah, it's a sign of a bit of maturity. Did you move the ball quicker, Justin, coming out of defence um, into attack than you might have otherwise, um, given that you, you probably know Collingwood a little bit better than other sides? Uh, yeah, well, we thought there's, there would have been some, op there's some opportunities there for us if we could handle the contest. Uh, <clears throat> they're such a good contested side. They bring really good pressure. Um, and I think you would have seen that in the first parts of quarters, they really got on top in the contest and got, got on top in, um, with their pressure and probably overused the ball at times. When we, when we showed a bit of composure to break that first layer of pressure, um, the game sort of opened up for us and that was a plan going into the game. Um, we thought we executed it well as the quarters went on, but at the start of the quarters, we, we, you know, we probably um, fueled their pressure a bit, a bit too much, um, which allowed them to get us off turnover um, a few times. Uh, but overall, we stuck to our task really well. Um, I thought we had some big performers late in the game. Um, yes, yeah, really pleasing to see. Do you feel more confident, Justin, that the group can manage those situations rather than you having to, you know, dictate from the box or the boundary? Well, I think it shows a bit of confidence in them being able to execute what we train. Uh, yeah, and a large part of that is the mental game. Where sometimes you can, you know, especially away from home, um, away crowd, you know, the opposition's on a roll. It, sometimes you can go in, internal and, and overthink the, situ the situation, but um, you know, we're able to help each other through it on the field. Uh, you know, our leaders stood up. Um, some players had big impact in that last 10 minutes and yeah, very, very pleasing. Justin, Brett Billy wasn't even meant to play today and he's had a horror run with injuries and now he's coming to kick two goals in the last quarter to get you over the line. What's it say about that bloke and what he's been through to get into that position? Yeah, well, to be honest, he would have been stiff to miss out um, and it was a tough call because we, we'd expected Fifey to play and um, he was going to be a medical sub. So, um, yeah, for him to come in um, last minute, execute his role, I, I think it just shows that He's a, he's a real pro um, as much as anything. Um, he's a good person to have around the footy club. He, he um, ticks every box in terms of getting, in, in terms of his preparation. He's a pro and, um, and that showed today. He was just able to execute his role in the last bit, got a couple of opportunities. Um, yeah, and nailed him. And that, I mean, that's a big part of finishing off games like that as well. It's just taking ownership in those moments. And, you know, it, it wasn't a hard set shot that he kicked. Um, um, in normal circumstances, but when the game's on the line like that, he, he took he took he just went back and took the responsibility and, and finished it off. So yeah, he, he was terrific in those um, last fifteen minutes. Given the run that he has had, is it nice for, for you to see him get that reward? Yeah, absolutely. No, uh, he's he's worked tirelessly. Um, it's we went through a period last year uh, where we we played four games in twenty days or something silly like that. And, um, I actually I actually rested him because we had a few outside players that I thought were going to be important through that period of time, and I said to him, rest him um, to get him get him right for the next three games. I think it was, and um, yeah, he didn't play for a year after that. So um, yeah, he had a had a horrid run with injury. Worked his backside off um, to fix the problem, and yeah, it's just great to see him get some reward from that effort. Speaking of injury, Justin, um, Matt Tabner went down. Any update on him? And also with him going down, how impressed were you with Roy Lobb's ability to stand up in his absence? Yeah, yeah, Lobby was great. Um, yeah, we had to go back to the old strategy of Blake Akers in the ruck just so we had a bit of height down forward. And they're such a good intercepting team that uh, to, you know, just for Lobby and, and JT to give us a contest. And some of our smalls, even at times, were just... Um, they're really courageous to give us contests in our forward half. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like Tabs is serious injury. It's not an ankle. It's not a, a recurrence of an ankle injury. It looks like a high calf strain. So 
um, fingers crossed that it's only a um, short term injury. Sorry, how close was he, uh, Nat Fife, and, and what's the situation next week? Real close, um, yeah, close enough for him to travel and, and give it, and for us to give him every um, last minute. So, um, yeah, having said that, he, he should be right for next week. We, ex we expect him to play. Does, what's the plan now, Justin? Do you go go back into quarantine in Perth? What's the, the setup with all that? Yeah, our, our understanding is that we, we go back in, into quarantine. Um, we'll get exemptions to train as normal. Um, but outside of training, we'll be yeah, at home. What Just sort of, was go. Sorry, Cod, uh, what sort of imposition is that on you guys? Or is it all pretty normal, at least from a footy aspect? Pretty, pretty normal with my life. I don't, I don't do much outside of that anyway, so it should be, should be pretty normal for me. Um, yeah, so, oh, it is, it's an input. It, it is what you said it was. But really, uh, um, every team's had to go through something um, like this throughout the season. Um, we're not immune to that. Um, it's our turn now to cop a, cop a bit of it. So we'll just deal with it the best we can. And um, yeah, there's not much more to be said, to be honest. Uh, yes, the last lockdown was was over here was when you went away and that sort of turned your season a little bit even though you're playing hard better teams obviously at the time as well but do you feel like you've taken a bit of knowledge from how they handled that which they might be better to handle this scenario this time around oh not really i think the last last time we we're away uh yeah we played brisbane in brisbane and lost by four goals uh, i think that form holds up in some respect and then oh, there's a game in um, at, against Essendon here that we probably should have won. So, um, yeah, I, I, there's always learnings, though, from when you when you do things. There's probably more we have to reflect on what we did last year when we came back from the hub and we're at home. And um, the temptation to go to the shops or or just do little things that you'd normally do is, is there. So we just need to make sure we're really disciplined. Does last night's result, Justin, give you guys a kick along and now you're kind of knocking on the, on the door of the eight? How do you process... That situation. Well, it, it helps clearly. Um, yeah, we don't, we don't use it as motivation. Our motivation is make uh, is getting the process right. And like I've said all along, the, if we get the process right, the result at the end of the day will look after itself. And still strongly believe that. Um, you know, we've got Carlton at home next week. Um, we need to take care of business on our end. Um, How would you see uh, Sean Darcy's game going up against Brady Grundy? Pretty tough ask, but a uh, game high nine clearances. I thought it was a real arm wrestle. I thought Brody had some moments, um, especially when he drifted forward. I thought Sean's centre bounce work in particular was, was really strong. Um, and I thought Sean was one of the players that stood up for us in the, at the end, took some really strong contested marks, uh, won some really important centre clearances in the last quarter. Uh, yeah, and he's just evolving as a, as a player. I thought he took another step forward against one of the best rucks in the comp. And David Mundy, Justin, I mean, we talk about him enough, but he just, all Australian, he just keeps going, doesn't he? I'd be surprised if he wasn't. He's, um, yeah, he's a super player. Um, you know, been our captain the last two weeks. He leads, leads us really well, whether he's got a title or not. Um, he's, he's, he understands we're, the position we're in as well. He, he doesn't, doesn't start every quarter. Like we started the game with you know, Darcy Brayshaw, Chera, and Sarong in its centre bounce, but he understands his role in that. Um, you know, and I thought I thought the midfield battle was a real honest battle all day, and he was a big part of it. Justin, Pete mentioned the the ladder position now, and being how close you are. It's been a while since this club has been in a position where it's been able to challenge for the eight at this point of the season. Like opportunity knocking, can you sort of feel like it's there for the players to sort of try to grab hold of? We just need to need to improve our footy and. Um, if we can become more consistent, um, you know, get some continuity with our team, um, the result will look after itself. Um, you know, I'm a process orientated coach. I'm not going to give you a headline. Um, that'll end up, that'll look after itself at the end of the day. That's fair enough, Justin. Just on, you haven't won at Marvel Stadium for seven starts. So does that uh, give you some, is that a, you know, a hurdle that you've jumped? Today? Yeah, well, be a good team, Pete. Um, you need to be able to win away from home. 
and it's as simple as that. So we need to become better with our routines when we go on the road. Um, I actually showed the players some vision of our last game here against Essendon where I thought we defended the ground really well um, and, and played some really good footy. So, um, yeah, it's good to get one under the belt. Um, yeah, it's a good hoodoo to break, I suppose, and we need to continue to perform like that away from home.